officials are planning to take a look, a look, a closer look at a problem traffic area in northern Vigo County. Taylor Johnson spoke with a Vigo County engineer about the issues along the Clinton Street corridor. She joins us now with how he says the county hopes to address the area to make it safe. Uh, what do what they plan to do? Well, last week, the Vigo County Commissioners approved mm -hmm. um, nearly $3.5 million in federal grants so that they can begin studying and improving the Clinton Street Corridor. Okay. And Vigo County's engineering department wants your help in creating solutions for a better commute. Employees at Heritage Animal Hospital North encounter a lot when traveling the Clinton Street Corridor in Vigo County. People definitely speed. For sure. My worst thing is when I'm coming up um, the bridge right there, all 41, and trying to turn right onto Clinton Road to the clinic. Um, you can't. You almost have to go out into the road in order to see what's coming over that bridge. Vigo County Engineer Larry Robbins says his department noticed many problems in that area. Um, that's one of the highest accident rate corridors in our county. Another issue. We have had some interest in the community for for some pedestrian amenities along that corridor. As well. I go to North Terre Haute almost every day for my lunch, and there's always people walking up and down, pushing um, grocery carts. During this year's Covered Bridge Festival, a person was hit and killed by a car along the Clinton Street corridor. Because of that, residents want speed limits reduced. Maybe slowing it down to like 20, 30 miles an hour so that even in the unfortunate case that somebody would get hit, it wouldn't be at such a high speed and maybe wouldn't be as fatal. Robin says his department will soon conduct a study to help with these problems and get the public involved with making Clinton Street safe to travel. And I think this corridor study will help bridge that gap so it'll get them interacted uh, or engaged with the designers so they know, you know, what the public wants, what they see, what they, you know, what they, or at least what they perceive that they want in that corridor and then what they want it to look like because at the end of the day, it is their road. They're going to use it every day. Robin says he's planning to take suggestions for the study through social media and public meetings. When will the study begin and when can they expect some changes? So Robbins, he tells me that they plan to start the study at the beginning of next year, around the springtime. It'll last around six months. But then from that point, then they will take what they've gathered, create a design, and then start construction, which probably won't be till around 2023. All right. Very good. Thank you, Taylor. Thank you.